morning to this class today we are going to learn eleven commerce subject statistics chapter number 9 geometric progression uh, last time we have completed exercise 9 section c up to question number a today we are going to start question number 9 find the required term of the following sequence using sequence formula okay, so first one is 2 10 50 up to 4 so we have to find out the sixth term so here First term will be two. R is equal to R is given by second term upon first term is equal to ten by two. So two five are ten. So the value of R is five and n equal to six because we have to find out the sixth term. Now we know that formula of T n is equal to a into R plus two n minus one. Now we have to put the value of a, r, and n. So T C is equal to a is two into five raised to six minus one is equal to two as it is in bracket five raised to five because six minus one will be five. So five raised to five is equal to two multiplied by five raised to five. What is the value of five raised to five? See. Five five raised to five means five raised to four will be six twenty five. Six twenty five into ten because five two is ten. So our answer is two into five raised to four into five. We can write five raised to four into five. So five raised to four into ten is equal to six twenty five into ten. So six term of given GP is six. Two five zero. Is it clear? But now second, hundred fifty twenty five to solve. Find the seventh term. So series of first of all we have to find out first term common difference and so the common ratio and n n. So first term is hundred common ratio is divided by t two upon t one and is equal to fifty upon hundred. So is equal to one by two. And the value of n is seven because we have to find out seventh term. Okay, so we know that T n is equal to a into r plus two n minus one. Therefore, T seven is equal to first term is hundred, so hundred bracket one by two raised to seven minus one is equal to hundred bracket one by two raised to six. Now see. Is equal to hundred multiplied by here. We can write one by two, one by two, one by two, one by two, one by two into one by two six times. Okay. Is equal to now see two fifty is a hundred, two twenty five is a fifty. So we get twenty five upon two two is a four two is a eight two is a sixteen. We get twenty five by sixteen. It gives seventh term of the one GP. Is it clear? Okay. Next question number three. One by three, two by nine, four by twenty seven. Up to so on. So we have to find out eighth term. Okay. So same same as above. Uh, first of all, we have to find out first term common ratio n n. Okay. Any quantity given eight. We have to find out eighth term. First term is one by three. Okay. It's very clear. Given GP, the value of R is T two upon T one. T two is two by nine upon one by three. So three three is a nine. So it gives two by three. Now we know that we know that T n is equal to a into R plus two n minus one. So we can write T n is equal to one by three bracket. Two by three raised to eight minus one. Now simplify. So it gives one by three in second bracket. Two by three raised to seven. Okay, because eight minus one will be seven. Is equal to now see one by three as it is. Here we can write two raised to seven upon three raised to seven. Okay. Is equal to now see two raised to seven upon three raised to seven plus one. So it gives three raised to Eight. So it gives eight term of the one J. Okay. Uh, no need to simplify. Uh, you 
you can try 2 raised to 7 upon 3 raised to 8 is the 8th term. Okay, now next fourth one. 2, 2 under root 2, 4 up to so on. We have to find out the 5th term. So here, a is equal to 2, r is equal to 2 root 2 upon 2. So here root 2 cancel out. So under root 2 and n equal to 5th term means n equal to 5. So same as above, we know that we know that tn is equal to a into r raised to n minus 1. So t5 is equal to a. a is 2, r is under root 2. So under root 2, 2 raised to 5 minus 1. Now simplify it. So it gives 2 bracket under root 2 raised to 4. Now see, what is the value of under root 2 raised to 4? You know. Under root 2 raised to 2 gives 2 because square square root cancel out. So under root 2 raised to 4 gives 4 because 2 square 4 is equal to 2 bracket 4. So 2 fours are 8. So it gives 5th term of D1 GP. Is it clear? Thank you.